you guys. Here we go. Oh my gosh, listen to her little brother bark. That is so freaking adorable. Look, y'all. Oh, he did a little howl. He did a little howl, guys. All right, it is time. Even though this is not exactly the best since unfortunately, oh, look at how her brother is coming over to see what's going on. Since unfortunately, Winter did end up breeding with her father, Moose, because I didn't move quickly enough. <gasps> we do have the arrival of an adorable new wolf pup, and it is one wolf pup again. So Winter has now had offspring. We're gonna go ahead and put her on contraceptives so that she will not have any more offspring with her brother, but or with her father. But the good news is <gasps> we have a little female who is just old enough to be able to run around with her uncle, Glacier. Oh my gosh, have our wolf packs uh, ever very rapidly managed to get themselves all twisted and tied together. But look at this tiny little one. She's playing in the crowberries right now. Do you want some crowberries, little one? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give her more crowberries because clearly she has good taste and she wants more plants in here. And then let's come and take a look at little baby blizzard a name suggested from black wolf thank you oh so much for leaving some awesome comments you guys i am so excited that you guys are all so happy to see our tiny little wolf pack that has begun here in these icy caves expand even more uh, and I'm glad you guys are understanding that unfortunately we did have a little bit of a hiccup and ended up with a interbred wolf, which means that, you know, her father and grandfather are the same person or the same wolf. That's not ideal, but let's take a peek at Blizzard's genetics and see how she's doing. Ah! And this is why you don't do interbreeding, you guys. Oh, this is so sad. Her fertility is 16%. Her immunity is 16%. She's going to live a long time if she doesn't get sick. Uh, she's a little bigger than your average wolf, but she is going to be a slightly weaker wolf pup. Oh my freaking gosh, look at our little wolf family. No, not all the freezing people. I mean, that's nice. I like to see that there's lots of tourists here to admire our wolves, and they so love laying here. We absolutely have to make that ice cave on the other side. Maybe that's one of the things we'll work on today. Uh, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at our little wolf pack. I love this. And I'm really happy that Blizzard has come to join us, even if the circumstances were not 100% ideal. That was just Winter trying to step in and become the alpha wolf. And since Moose is still around, even in his like very old elder years, where this is Moose right here. He is 17 years old right now. Well, we won't fret. Uh, Moose, how long do Arctic wolves normally live? Let's find out. So, let's see. Research, interspecies, species data. So, it is good that we have a pack, since the Arctic wolves are very social animals that live in packs. The average consisting of an alpha male and alpha female, also known as the breeding pair, their juvenile offspring, and a litter of pups who are less than a year old. These are closely bonded, and wolves get distressed if their pack is separated or a pack member dies. So I think Winter breeding with her father and becoming the alpha female herself was kind of just a way for them to recover from the tragic loss of Icy, the alpha female who just was not the healthiest, so she didn't live the longest. However, hopefully, we will be able to get a new male to wander in through the uh, the avalanche little canyon that we have at the top of the mountain when Moose is no longer here. And Moose is already very old for a wolf since their average life expectancy is 15 years and he's going on 17. Oh, look at the babies! Oh my gosh, this is so relaxing. Oh, we absolutely have to make the ice cave. Oh, and let's check in on the security goats. Oh, they don't have any water. What am I doing? <laughs> they don't have any water and they're feeling super exposed by the people once more. We definitely need to get in here and we need to tidy up the... Uh... <laughs> oh, and look at Billy. There's Billy Goat. Oh, I'm so happy about that. But we definitely need to tidy up the prized goat pen today. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on the prized goat pen. We're going to see if... Okay, that's vet research done. Yay, more research on our <clears throat> goats <clears throat> from Quilter Reliana. Wonderful. 
But we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit more work on the goat pen because what I want to do is have another bridge come from where all of these people are and go across here so that it kind of floats above the ground and below them, the goats will be able to play in a huge garden of their own. And then on this side, can that, I wonder if the keepers can get on this side. I might need to make this like much, much deeper. So the goats basically have a cave they can climb into like the little billy goats gruff or whatever that little nursery tale is. Have you guys heard about that? Like the three billy goats and like the troll that lived under the bridge? Is that kind of like a worldwide nursery tale or is that even told anymore? Am I really showing everybody how old I am by remembering like Hickory Dickory Dock and uh, and like the three billy goats gruff? Uh, let me know. But I think we need to make it lower so that we can have one of the villagers come in and take care of the, the goats cough cough area. And once we get the bridge built across it and have hopefully some absolutely delicious goat cheese that people can get over here, I want to have the bridge go up and over this barrier and come over here to where I really, really want to have those ice caves on the other side. I want to figure out exactly where the wolves are on this other side and I want to be able to have an ice cave where people can walk in and see them in their little hidden area. So I guess we could work on that over here too. Trying to figure out exactly where they are on the other side is a little tricky. And we're going to need the one-way mirror or the one-way or the one-way like habitat barrier for that anyway, which means Let's actually check on... Okay, security goats will take care of you. Water treatment is failing, so we need to call a mechanic. I think it's time. I think it's finally time to add more lumberjacks. Because <laughs> it... Ah, oh, why am I stuck? Oh, I always get stuck in a cave when I go to check on that water filter. All right. Uh, and actually, that water filter is kind of fun to imagine in a cave. Because I'm going to, like, hide it behind some things. And then we can just pretend that's, like, a fresh spring that people can go collect well water at. Which is awesome. Because if you're not here for the roleplay, I don't know why you're here. Let's get some more lumberjacks in here. And let's also get some water. Yeah, because we only have two lumberjacks right now. And we definitely want to be doing more research. So let's go ahead and just hire a couple really quickly. And how are our keepers? Oh, our keepers really have a high workload too. So it's time to have more villagers move in, which means a house. In fact, let's build the house first because you know, you need a house if you're going to be adding in more villagers and Shepherd's Nook is just flourishing. So if we're gonna add in a house, uh, <gasps> Moose, no, we were just talking about that. Oh no, you guys. Oh, he's just peacefully sleeping though. Oh, it's 17. Oh, Moose, our boy! Moose! Oh, no! He just, like, I think he just passed away in his sleep. Oh, you guys, that's so sad! Oh, 17.1 years of age. I feel like we need to make some sort of special celebration to that. I'm gonna go ahead and name this, like, Moose's... Uh, Moose... Rock. Cause this is like the arctic wolf rock uh so this is going to be moose rock and i'm gonna go ahead and put 17.1 years there and then i should probably put one down for icy as well since they were the founding members of this wolf pack uh this is a really really cool stone structure that I actually got off of the Steam Blueprint Gallery. Uh, I, I guess it's not a gallery, the workshop. I'm always thinking of Sims 4 when I call it a gallery. And I really, really love it. I haven't had a chance to use it in many places. I think we'll go ahead and put a couple down. Maybe another one right over here. And we can make this like Icy's. Because Moose and Icy started this pack. And I don't think I want to have like a ton of these. But it would be really nice to have other ways to remember our wolves. So what else do we have? Oh, there's a Planet Zoo wolf sign. And then there's flags. Let me look at this flag. Okay, that's kind of cool. That would be kind of fun to like remember our wolves, especially because this is like a quilting town. 
So maybe with all of the wolves we have, we could have, oh, we could have a little sign or like a little flag and then we'll just keep adding them with every wolf that we have in the wolf pack. I mean, that'll do. We have a lot of ways to remember the wolves now. In fact, we need to come down here and add in another one for Blizzard of these really cool columns. And this is going to be, there we go, copy. And then we'll raise it up a little bit, like so. And Blizzard is technically generation 1.5 and hopefully we won't have that happen again. But there we go. And poor Winter, I think right now she's just busy like howling and really sad. So we're gonna say that the snow is going to melt on this avalanche just enough. Oh, she is howling and she is gonna be really sad because there's not going to be a lot of adults in the group anymore. Okay, so far she's not stressed about it. Social group is balanced. She has got two siblings, who's ironically also one of her children. But I, I feel like, oh, listen to her howl. We need to get Winter a, a mate too. So we'll say that her howling as she watches over these two wolf pups all on her own, not that it's hard with the villagers helping out since they provide all sorts of like, wow, that's like really stellar food for her to be able to eat. Um, I don't even know what that is. It's huge. Is it like a whale? Who knows? Maybe they're bringing whale to the wolves to kind of honor them and help them out. But let's get another wolf in here. I think that's what we need to do. Let's see if we can get a really awesome male for our beloved wolves. So we want Arctic wolves. Because I want to make sure this wolf pack is doing really well. All right. And do we have a healthy boy? Ooh, permafrost! <gasps> what a cool name! Do I want to get him? He's so expensive. How old is he? He's 11 years old. Okay, that was tricky. I would have totally gotten him, but 11 years old? Like, that's kind of cheatsies. That means that he's probably already had, like, a mate. He's probably already got a bunch of kids. Uh, let's see if we can find... This wolf isn't terrible. I think we could probably do okay with him. All right, so let's go ahead and get this wolf in. And I, I think we'll actually rename him Permafrost because that was a really cool name. Just an 11 year old wolf would have been a tragically short relationship for our dear Winter. All right, then let's come back here and name this uh, Icy, let's see, Icy Rock or Icy Howls. And then she was 13, like 0.1 years when she passed, or like 13.6 or something. And Icy Howls, there we go. And then down here, we've got Moose Rock. Animal is severely dehydrated. That is not good. <laughs> that is very much not good. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Oh, look at all our little sheep. I love our little sheep. They're so freaking cute. Let's copy this melting little glacier that we have. I kind of like the, the igloo, but the sheep don't seem to be going, or the goats, pardon me, <clears throat> don't seem to be going in it. So we might replace the igloo with like a cute little house. There's a lot we need to tidy up. There's a lot going on here. All right. And then Stitch is very hungry. What are you doing, little one? Is there any food in here for you? Oh, I don't even see a feeder in here anymore. What the heck? All right, well, that's not gonna do. Let's go ahead and get a feeder in here. Where on earth did it go? I must have deleted it when I removed the shelter and I didn't mean to. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna get in food and water. Let's get a medium food trough. Well, let's get a large food trough in here because there's a lot of sheep and we wanna keep them all well fed. All right, excellent. And this is a good segue into hiring, or excuse me, having more people come to settle Shepherd's Nook. Let's get ourselves a little house. I'm not going to overthink it. We're just going to find like the first really nice. Oh, Nanook has joined the wolf pack. Yes, he is permafrost. There we go. All right, so we have permafrost the wolf because I thought that name was really cool. And he has just climbed through, we will say. And let's unbox Blizzard. I don't know how she got in there. But he has climbed through 
the temporarily uh, melted little avalanche that we had over here and will hopefully impress winter pretty soon. So we'll have to see if they get along. There we go. Oh no, and a diseased animal. Oh geez, my vets were on top of that like nobody's business. Oh, look at the little lamb. Oh, so cute. All right, that was Quilter Peaches. She was on top of that. She's not gonna let there be a sick animal anywhere in here. Uh, habitat cleanliness is struggling over in Rachel's sheep pen. So we do need to take care of that too. This needs fixed. Oh geez, there's been vet research done on the springbok, or excuse me, the prized goats. Yeah, we need to get more people in here. We're starting to get the village big enough that it's not enough for just the villagers we have to do the work. So let's not overthink this. Just very quickly. Arctic theme. Keeper hut. Exhibit. Ooh, a little exhibit. That might be really fun to have as like a little house thing. Aw, that'd be kind of adorable. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cute to have like a little exhibit just tucked in here. Ooh, tucked right over here might be really good because nobody's really using this spot. That might be nice. And just to say it's like somebody's little house. And then they have like some sort of pet that people can come see. All right, what other Arctic buildings could we add in for ambiance? All right, there's a couple houses. So I think we're gonna hire another mechanic and another keeper at this point. And maybe we wanna give them a bigger house because we will say staff center small. Oh, that's really cute. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. What else do we have? The workshop. There's also this really cool reindeer. These are some reindeer stables that somebody made. That's adorable. We'll look into that too. That's the Arctic sculpture. This is a small research center, which is cool. Uh, oh yay, and our spring rock are about to mate, which is good. And then, oh yes, mechanic research is complete. Huzzah, let's get those barriers going. What kind do I have the, I don't have the one-way glass just yet, but we're progressing. All right, well, let's not think about it too much. Um, Oh, wow, this is a large exhibit like spot that would be really fun for people to be able to walk into. Let's go with a medium exhibit. That sounds like a good idea. We'll go ahead. We will add in a little medium exhibit and maybe a small exhibit. Or actually, let's do a small exhibit. I told myself not to overthink this. And what do I do first thing? Overthink it. Oh, this would actually be a good spot for a medium exhibit right over here. Yeah, look at that. That's perfect. And then we can add in some cute little animals. Oh, I heard the reindeer. We could leave enough room that people could have like another quilting spot. Let's see if I can get... These are the quilting spots we have to kind of remember the sheep. And let's see if I can get everything right here. I added some rocks under this one so it would look nice. Huh. I know I keep saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then we end up getting distracted, but there is just... It takes a lot of work to, like, build up an entire village, okay? Whoops! Oh man. All right, now I have to select all that again. We have some floating rocks, friends. That's not part of the plan. All right, and then... Down they go. Excellent. Let's smooth out that terrain. Put down some snow. There we go. Is it cold enough that snow will stick to the ground? Because that'd be kind of cool. And then let's grab those blueprints. Medium exhibit. Hopefully this won't put people so close that they get really fussy about what they find. All right, can I put it back? Pretty far, actually. So I'm going to put it... Let's make sure that this isn't close enough. All right. I can actually put it pretty far back and it shouldn't negatively impact the guests. Yay, look at that! That's adorable. And then we can come and remove this little path. And now we can add in some little exhibits and I definitely think that that home is big enough for at least two people, which makes me very happy. So let's get some more staff in here. Oops, not a caretaker. We're gonna hire a new shepherd and let's get a female. There we go. And this is actually going to be Shepherd Abby. So 
Welcome, Shepherd Abby. And Abby is actually, that's really fun to add her in as a vet, aka a shepherd, because Abby is actually one of our longest term patrons. She has been around, I think, since almost the very, very beginning. And she is a vet in real life. And so I, I always am learning so much from her and it's so much fun to hear about all of the stories of when she is a vet in our Discord. So it's very exciting to add her in as an actual vet into Shepherd's Nook. Let's make sure our work zone is being managed. There we go, there we go. We'll have a couple little exhibits added to it. I think we might have to start making specialist exhibits uh, pretty soon. But all right, so we're gonna have Abby come on in and hopefully with her training, yeah, Shepherd Abby, Let's train up Keeper Reliana and Shepherd Miss Moss so that they become can become better. Oh, and Habitat has damaged barriers. That would be on our sheep. Let's call a mechanic. And we need to hire more mechanics. So we're actually going to have... Dun, dun, dun. We're actually going to have mechanic Alexandria. Let's make sure I haven't got that name yet. And, oh, no, wood carver Alexandria. Alexandria trying to slip in there twice. I need to do better with my randomized list. Uh, but there we go. All right, and we're going to have Lumberjack Anthony from the looks of it. Let me make sure. Yes, Lumberjack Anthony. There we are, friend. Welcome, welcome. So Lumberjack Anthony. There. And he is also going to be trained up pretty soon. And he's going to help out with taking care of everybody. Look at him, he's right on it. And the lumberjacks really want to replace all of these barriers with these indestructible logs, which we will totally be working on as soon as we get the chance. Let's train him. And then finally, let's celebrate Abby and Anthony coming to join us by adding in something to the exhibits because we haven't had an exhibit animal yet. And I think these will be fun. <gasps> the little Eastern brown snick. I would be happy to have an eastern brown snick. That would be really cute. Uh, and what's something kind of like wintry or Christmassy? Not really any of the exhibit animals. I wish they had added even just like one exhibit animal with uh, the Arctic DLC pack. But I can understand how like, I can't think off the top of my head what kind of animal would count for that. You know what I mean? Can you guys think of any small animals that would be tundra animals that would count? Cause that's really hard. All right, and then let's go, let's do a couple Goliath beetles. That sounds good. We'll get a couple females. Cause I don't, I don't want to have to deal with them all being, <laughs> all being pregnant. That's always just too much of a headache. All right, send to zoo. There we go. All right, and then let's make sure that they have the right temperature before we literally freeze them to death. That would be not good. All right, humidity, 50% is great. Their temperature is increasing. Getting there, getting there. And so this is going to be uh, Abby's, Abby's, let's see. Abby's shepherd shed? Abby's, uh, how about stocking knitting shed? There we go, and she can knit some stockings from the adorable pieces of, or from the wool that she collects. And then let's close the window on that side and maybe do a 3D facade. Yeah, 3D facade there, 3D facade there. Very nice, very nice. And then over here, we're going to have, let's see, was it Anthony who we just added in? Who's our newest lumberjack? It is lumberjack Anthony. And he'll, he'll get used to it. He's not very happy now, but that's just because he feels a little overwhelmed with his workflow. He'll get used to it. And then let's grab... So Anthony... I feel like Anthony needs a pet snake. Let's give him this iguana. <laughs> I think that would be really fun. I haven't had an iguana yet. So we're going to add in his pet snake or his pet iguana. So this is going to be uh, Anthony's closet or Anthony's um, pet iguana there. And let's get those temperatures just right for our iguana. And then take a peek, because I actually haven't looked at... There we go. Humidity needs to be very carefully maintained. Temperature still needs to go up a little. 
A little more. A little more. Almost there. Yay! All right, there we go. So we, now we have Anthony's pet iguana. And there. And Abby's cute little bugs that maybe love living. Oh, that's a really cool facade. Look at that. <gasps> Look at Anthony's pet iguana who like lives in his, his like closet room. Oh, that's so fine. All right, guys, I'm really happy with this. And now we can add in a little donation bench or two or a little donation spot that hopefully people will toss some funds into. I guess we could kind of move it right here. There we go. Everybody's chilly. They're all going brrr, which is kind of adorable. All right, and I feel like we're making some progress. Let's come over and see. Adopt exhibit species. Yay, all right, so we're expanding Shepherd's Nook. I'm very happy about that. And hopefully the new people that we have added in will be able to help us to get all of the research done so that we can really start helping our wolves. Has Winter decided to accept? <gasps> she has accepted Permafrost as her mate. Woo, Permafrost, congratulations. Where are you, dude? Wow, look at the cave. Oh, I think that this Wolf Mountain is going to redeem ourselves for the Wolf Mountain in our other in our other zoo. Oh my gosh, and the prize goats are having more babies. We definitely need to start taking more care of them too. All right, Shepherd's Nook is growing, my friends, and so are our dreams about what we will be able to do to this tiny little village. I do think it's soon going to be time to give more people uh, little sheep, like, pens so that we can continue to get the doll sheep going around and i'm starting to think it'd be really fun to uh think about that uh snow leopard that i really want to get over here all right thank you guys so much for joining us if you could do please leave a like for our prized goats and for our wonderful wolves uh security go dad no security go dad i forgot to do that so i'm gonna let it happen just like last time <sighs> And if you could, do please leave a like for our security goats, who, now I will remember, don't let her breed with her son. Sigh. And, but most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.